hey what is happening what is going on welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you are new here hopefully you enjoy this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a pretty cool lighting kind of trick that you can do in blender you can create some cool looking lights I'll show you how to do it I'll show you how to set it up let's get into it so first thing you want to do is you're going to need like a kind of like a studio setup so you're going to go shift a mesh you're going to get a plane then you're just going to go s you're going to scale it up somewhere like that then hit tab and go here so click there click there and press e and bring this up with your mouse so hold down your middle scroll wheel and drag it up to there then just click there go Control b and move your mouse roll your scroll wheel a few times click there hit tab and right click shade smooth now we're just going to bring in an object so shift a i'm going to get a mesh and we are going to get our monkey suzanne click here on x g Bring it up to somewhere like that s let's scale it down somewhere like that and go x g bring it down to about there okay now i just want to kind of like smooth susanna so i'm going to click on it and go to modifiers right click and hit subdivide and subdivision surface so not subdivide but subdivision surface right click shade smooth okay now if i click here you can see nothing's really happening i'm going to click here and i'm just going to do that perfect now we need a light so you're going to go shift a and we're going to go down to light and you're going to look for a area light okay then you're going to go g bring it up to somewhere like that and then g somewhere like that s let's scale it up and let's bring it down a bit more somewhere like that and then go r we want to rotate it something like that bring it to somewhere like this okay just so it's pointing on the object if i go to the camera you can see we've got something like this now now what you want to do is with your area light selected go to shading and hit use nodes okay so that enables this and now what i want to do is I'm going to bring this up to about 60 and I'm going to go here to my world click this and make it completely dark okay if I go now to camera I click there got something like this so it might be a bit bright we can adjust it later but we've got something like this now now I'm just going to click here and go shift a and get a combined color and you're going to put this here you're going to plug the color into the color and you're going to click there and you're going to click H S V. On the saturation, we're going to make this one and the value one. Okay. Then go shift A and look for a math node. Okay. And then you're going to plug the value into the hue. And you're going to change this from add to fraction. Then go shift A and type in separate X, Y, Z. Put that there. And plug the y into the value and click there shift a and type in search look for geometry and go down to geometry put this there and the incoming plug into the vector and now you can click there and you got something like this so you can see how cool that looks and then you can change your string so i can bring this down to about 45 and if i click on the object and i hit new I just bring the metallic up you can see what it does to the object it kind of makes it look quite cool so you can click there now if i click on the light you can see there if i change the saturation to zero you can see it does nothing so you want to bring it to see there you want to bring it to one because that brings the most colors in and you can see it creates something like kind of like this it looks cool I just thought I would just show you how to do it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's a kind of like a trick that nobody really talks about. But you can see you can add these kind of things. And if I go RGB, and you change that, you can change this. Change the blue. And get something like that. Or HSL, and you can do that. And you get something like that. But I think the HSV is probably the best to use. It kind of gives you that nice kind of look and then you can just click on your light and you can bring it to somewhere like that 
So you can see there, now you got something like this. And then you can bring your strength up to like 100. And what you could do is you could click on your plane, hit new, make some metallic like that, and you get something like this. And you can just play around with it. I thought I would just show you guys how to do something like this. It looks pretty cool, it's pretty interesting. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this video was helpful. And make sure that you are checking out Blender Kit. Link in the description. And check out the Patreon. I'd appreciate that. And like I said, make sure you subscribe. Cost you nothing. Supports me. Appreciate it. See you in the next video. Peace.